So we, we noticed when we started to look at this vast database of satellite imagery that we had assembled for the Red Sea, some very uh, uh, extraordinary patterns in the, in the coral reef morphology. And the, the most striking of those was the prevalence of a, of a honeycomb-like pattern that we're going to call a, a reticulated uh, coral reef frameworks. So, and these can be seen throughout the length of the Red Sea and uh, are by, really by far the dominant uh, shape of reefs that we see in the region. The, the fact of the matter is that because the, the, the morphology is very regular, uh, in, it, in its morphology, it's difficult to explain that by any sort of present-day natural uh, factor affecting corals, such as differences in temperature or salinity or sedimentation, light availability or how corals settle. We'd expect that to be much more random and also to form patterns on much larger scales. So that was really a mystery of what, uh, where this patterning was coming from. So then what we did was we approached this this problem more with their geological eyes and we reconstructed uh, how, how sea level has moved, fluctuated and moved up and down for the Red Sea over the last, let's say, 120,000 years, and also the, the climate. And what we see is that uh, relatively recently, in the last 12,000 years, sea level was lower than today, and at that time a lot of these now reef frameworks were exposed uh, to the elements. And around that time, just really just by good timing, I suppose, that the, we had a radical switch in climate in the Middle East. It, isn't hyper -arid, it wasn't hyper-arid as it is today. Instead, we had a monsoonal influence coming out of the Indian Ocean, which, uh, which put very high levels of precipitation, or much higher than today, up to perhaps one meter per year. As that rainfall fell on those, those, those then exposed carbonate rocks, it started to erode them in a very particular manner. The, the, the reason that rainfall erodes carbonate so effectively is that carbon dioxide dif dissolves into the rainwater and makes it slightly acidic. Um, and what we were able to do is, uh, through numerical simulation, reproduce that process in a computer so we could play with different rates of precipitation and uh, different densities of rock and set this simulation to mimic the conditions that we perceive to exist at that time in the past. And then what we saw in the simulation is that we could reproduce the coral reef, the, the morphologies we see in the reefs very, uh, very well indeed. So what we found with that is that these, these structures really don't have anything to do with the modern uh, patterning of uh, corals. In fact, they owe their existence to a, a time just relatively recently, five, six, seven thousand years ago, where we had a template formed as that, those carbonate rocks were uh, eroded, sea level sub subsequently rose up over the top of them, and then the coral reef started to develop on that pre-existing template. And the corals favoured the high points in the template because they were free of sediment stress, and therefore the, the reef just grew and accentuated the... the um, the underlying structure and with that we feel we have come to an understanding of, for this morphology in the Red Sea.